Hello everyone, today we start SAP 2000 tutorial series. In first video, we learn how to create a beam with different types of loading, then we analyze this beam. So you check this is the problem. In this problem, we have two beams A, B, a span, and second span is B, C with UDL point load and UVL uniform bearing load. The beam cross section is 300 by 400 mm and the material is concrete. So we start SAP and first we click on new model. And when we select new model, first step is to change the units. We choose kilonewton meter, then choose grid. In the grid system, first he asks the X direction number of grid line X direction we require only two. In Y we also require two and the Z means the story one. The spacing of X direction we because our beam is four meter and three four point five meter. We have two types of mm, grid required. One grid is this and one grid is this and one grid is this. This grid spacing is 4 meter and this grid spacing is different 4.5. So we require custom grid setting not uniform grid setting. So what we do we cancel this again go to the new model. Grid okay and then right click on the grid and modify the grid okay this is the grid in x line so the first spacing is 0 then second is 4 and third is 8.5 8.5 why because the second span is 4.5 that's why 8.5 in y direction we do not try to change so then click on okay. okay this is a grid um, let's check one more time modify 4 so not change y 4 and then zero four plus if you check in this beam after four we add four point five eight point five point five and we do not require this this click done okay four and four point five next we define material add new material and we select India concrete uh, M20 we consider M20 ok this is M20 done next is we define section frame section add new and then check rectangle and title is beam and the depth is 400 mm and width is 300 mm this is the cross section ok done now we have to assign cross section from here section is beam already and we click by this arrow beam and you can create Okay, now the beam is created. Mm, this at this joint we have to assign fixed support. So we go to select the joint, then go to the joint, restrain, fix, then this is the fixed support. And this joint we have to apply roller support. Go to the assign, sorry, assign joint restrain check click on roller and done the last joint we have to assign pin support okay 
if you check uh, the elevation of this like this this is our beam the next step is loading uh, and this beam we have UDL loading of 6 km parameter we select this beam go to the assign frame load and distributed load the direction is gravity uniform load is 6 this panel is for if UDL is not on full span then we use this if UDL on full span we use this after this we select this beam and you can check here the 20 kilo internet the center point load select assign frame load point load and we put here value is 20 kilo newton at 4 meter absolute distance we select 4 meter 2 meter sorry 2 meter at the center okay next we select this beam and assign frame load and the distributive load at distributive load we select the absolute distance we check here after 1.5 meter load is started okay zero value the load is zero and at the end of three meters value 15 so what we do zero distance at 1.5 meter load is zero but at 4.5 meter load value is 15 okay but UDL is extend in this why this UDL is extend now what we do we again check one point five is zero and fifteen kilonewton at four point five meter. Okay, this now the load is correct next last step is assign analysis problem 1 save here analysis is done now we have to check the result click on this icon for pending moment diagram and shear force diagram m33 is moment this is the moment diagram and this is the shear force diagram if you right click on the beam diagram is term this is shear force diagram this is bending moment diagram and this is X deflection only the beam of AB okay only the beam of AB when doubts come in my mind if you check the load if you check the load here is a fixed support it means a negative moment is also generated but when we check the moment diagram no negative moment is zero why this happen
this joint have fixed support assign joint restraint fix right now again we have analyzed This is the bending moment diagram. Okay, let's later we check. So this is the tutorial how to create a beam and and assign the supports, properties and loads on the beam and check the result. If you want to check the reaction, go to the join, select arrow type and okay. This is the support reaction. If you like this tutorial, please like subscribe and comment and if you want to tutorial for other software please comment me mail me then i upload this video of your demand thank you